Hi, my name is Franz and this is PhotoRap, a show about photography, its history, technique, and gadgets. This week on PhotoRap, we take a look at some of the scariest ghost photos. In photography news, Adobe announces improvements to Adobe Lightroom with its new masking feature. From PhotoNation International, a look at this week's top selection of spooky photos. And we listen to Dr. Jaime Licaco, a psychologist who studies the unexplained and the paranormal. Happy Halloween! Over time, many unexplained images have been uploaded to the internet, leaving viewers mystified. It's called spirit photography. Let's take a look at some scarce photos we found. Film photography produces photographs that are less likely to be forged because they are made through a chemical process in a darkroom. Digital photography, on the other hand, uses an imager or a sensor that collects visible light and converts it to electrical signals, then to information that renders an image. With new technologies like Adobe Photoshop, any image can now be seamlessly altered. Ever since it was developed in the late 1800s, Film photography has always been the go-to device of spirit photographers who are out to prove the existence of spirits because images stored in film are light particles themselves exposed on light-sensitive material. Once printed, they claim what you see is what you get. Michael Pichard, Director General of the Royal Photographic Society, shares his thoughts on ghost photography. I am a skeptic from the perspective of a photographer. And as someone who doesn't believe in ghosts, there's not a lot out there that can't be attributed to some sort of photographic technique. Over centuries, ghost sightings have circulated in books, newspaper articles, journals, and all media. It has boggled photographers, scientists, and historians. Here are some photos we found online that have yet to be explained. The Brown Lady of Rainham Hall. They say the ghostly apparition in this photograph is none other than Lady Dorothy Walpole, the sister of Britain's first Prime Minister, Robert Walpole. She died while being locked up in Rainham Hall in 1726. Captain Hubert C. Prevan took the photo in 1936 and was featured in Country Life magazine the same year. Victor Goddard's Royal Air Force Squadron. The photo of the squadron is said to show the face of Freddie Jackson, a mechanic who had been killed by an airplane propeller two days earlier. They say the face can visibly be seen behind an airman in the top row, fourth from the left. The photo is believed to have been taken on the day of his funeral. The Ghost of Lord Combermere During the funeral of Lord Combermere, a photographer named Corbett took a long exposure of the Lord's residence. The apparition that appears to be sitting in a chair is suggested to be Lord Combermere himself. The Ghost Pilot, 1987 While visiting an airfield in England, Mrs. Sayer had the photo taken in the cockpit. When they had the image developed, a man appeared to be sitting beside her. My Photo of Ghosts Here is one photo I took using a film camera inside the Diplomat Hotel in Baguio which is believed to be one of the most haunted places in the Philippines. Formerly known as the Dominican Hill Retreat House, it was built in 1913 atop a hill in Baguio. During World War II, it became a refugee camp that was eventually invaded by the Japanese secret police who committed acts of brutality, massacre, rape, and torture of the refugees. This is a photo of the courtyard where a number of people, including priests and nuns, were believed to be beheaded. If you look closely, figures can be seen in the photo. Do ghosts exist? Without proof, encounters with ghosts are dismissed as mere stories. Having an altered evidence like photographs helps those who've encountered these apparitions tell their story. Since it came out in 2007, Adobe Lightroom has been known as a software with combined features of file organization and image processing. Let's take a look at the new features Lightroom has to offer. Lightroom masking is here. The new AI technology from Adobe lets you make detailed edits faster without opening Photoshop. The masking tool uses AI to select elements within the photo for much more detailed changes to color, tone, and exposure. 
a feature that previously only Photoshop had the ability to do. The new tech brings new flexibility to Lightroom. It now allows you to name masks, invert these masks, combine them into groups, and add or subtract them. Having a detailed masking tool makes it easier for photographers to edit more efficiently. What do you think of Lightroom's new feature? Leave us a comment below. Here are some spooky photos we found from Photonation. Let's take a look at some of the images that haunted us. Don't forget to tune in for the next episode. Your photo might just be the next one we'll feature. Dr. Jaime Licaco has been regarded as the Philippines' foremost authority on inner mind development, paranormal phenomena, and Philippine mysticism. He has written 19 best-selling books and numerous articles on these subjects during the last 25 years. Let's listen in as he shares his thoughts on paranormal and ghostly apparitions in photographs. I can describe myself as an ordinary person with extraordinary interest. And I, uh, after graduation from the AIM, the Asian Institute of Management, that was in 1972, I started uh, getting interested in uh, certain phenomena in the Philippines. So I started doing research on this and I found out a lot of things that are extraordinary, that there is another dimension of reality that we do not recognize, but it is there since time immemorial. When you talk of paranormal things, it, is, it means those things that cannot be explained by science. You see, it is negatively defined. What it is, nobody knows. Nobody has defined that. No? Uh, it is defined in a negative way. So uh, up to now, it's still a mystery to people, but it is no longer a mystery to me. Everything is normal, but it is happening in another field of, of reality, another dimension of reality. If you are sensitive, no, you can tell whether it's true or not. No. Whether it is physical or something which is spiritual. I could sense, for example, if a house is haunted, even if I'm not there, even from pictures, I can tell whether a tree, especially the Balete tree, is occupied by spirits. But, you know, I have several pictures where there are strips of white, uh, something like that. These are indications of, uh, of uh, the presence of a spirit. And you will notice, you see, this, this woman, Sedina Bonavi, is a very psychic, highly developed clairvoyant, you know, although she denies it. You know. Now, this one is interesting. Uh, when this picture was taken during graduation of uh, one of them, you know, there is a man uh, facing left you know, uh, behind him. It turned out that's the grandfather of this boy who graduated. The grandfather is dead, but this picture shows him. It has been known since centuries that spirits can affect material objects. They can move objects, they can break it, no? and uh, they can manifest. No? Now they even manifest on the internet, and on, on, the, on, on, the, on the telephone, uh, on fax machine, the before and there were fax machine, they, they manifest themselves. But how it is? it happens, I do not know, and, and that is a very, very important question. How does a spirit, which is non-material, can appear in a material material thing? No? I cannot answer that. I don't think anybody can. <laughs> For a spirit to appear, it has to slow down their vibration. frequency and spirit. And for us to see a spirit, we have to raise our vibration to see the spiritual world. So when they meet, then you can see them. So that's how I can explain it. No? As I said, it's my theory. I do not know whether I'm correct. But it makes sense to me that for, for us to see a spirit, they must uh, somehow slow down their vibrations to our level and ourselves to raise to their level. Most ghosts are friendly. It's only an exception that there are ghosts that are really terrible. No? Talaga non. Pero more of the exception. So fear is caused by ignorance. And what is the cure for ignorance? Knowledge. 
So that's why I also try to know more about this field, no? Because I don't know. Now I know. So I don't get afraid of ghosts, you know? Because I know what they are, what they're capable of, and what, 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 why they are appearing, no? You can talk to them, actually. So that's my, ano, no? my advice to people. Know, know about it, study it. Then you will not be afraid anymore. And that was Photograph. Again, happy Halloween. See you next time to explore more photography tips, news, and meet photographers. My name is Franz. Thank you for watching.